A commercial diver's worst fear is drowning, and drowning in an ugly way. The number one priority to us right now is diver safety. This is our dive shack, dive command. Our dive team will be composed of a dive supervisor. Operationally, here's the plan. Life support technician. Launch the, uh, the bell, please. Several divers. Ready to make this. That's, uh, several tenders. A backup safety diver. Right. You're sitting there listening. Everything good? And a backup safety diving tender. That's about 50. But this is diving. This is as dangerous as it gets. All right, guys, this is the dive bell. There's a lot of information that this bell provides to a diver on bottom in case of a crisis. The mixed gas dive, the surface, top of the ocean, is no longer a sanctuary to a diver. This bell starts on the surface before the dive, and the dive supervisor will generally position the dive bell about 150 feet deep. That's where the diver is going to switch from breathing air to breathing bottom mix of helium and oxygen. When people get into a situation especially in diving, that's outside of what they were expecting. The tendency is just to want to be out of that situation. If my main communications and my helmet was lost, I can talk to the surface through the speaker in the bell. They can talk to me. You could actually also rap on the bell, and they could hear it in the bell wire. Or you could pull on the bell umbilical and send line pull signals. Everything's redundant. The reason for redundancies in diving is we always say two is one, one is none. If you've got two systems online, a main and a backup, you're good to go. If your main fails and you go to your backup, you abort the dive, it's time to come home. That's the way that we run everything. So if we were to count all the ways a diver has to, to maintain breathing gas, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, and then a standby diver could bring you down a backup umbilical, that's six ways to maintain breathing gas. Always want to be in communication, and you want to manage issues before they happen. If you get to the point where you have to start relying on emergency backups, you've got an emergency. You don't want to let it get there. But if it does get there, and as oftentimes it does, you've got a lot of ways to get out of it. A number one enemy of a diver is panic. You run out of breathing mix on bottom, and you don't think your way to your next backup plan, which is already there, but panic is going to prevent you from getting there most of the time. People die in diving. It's, a, it's as serious as it gets. You're going to take a manageable situation, and it's going to end in a fatality or in a serious diving accident. Nobody wants to see that happen. On a, any project, the safety of your personnel has to come first. It's deep wreck diving. This is one of the most dangerous things that you can do on planet Earth. Republic beat him the first time. It consumed him. We're dealing with the largest treasure ship in history. I cannot leave this unresolved. The fight is far from over. We will recover the Republic's gold.